Hey guys, how's it going? It's Elijah. Today, we are fixing this problem. As you can see, the watermarks on the berms are not lined up with the plant at all. This happens sometimes during the heat of the day, though the line will actually expand. But in this case, the emitters are just not lined up on this entire berm. So I'm gonna be walking the berms today and just double checking that the plants are getting water. And if they're not, then I'm just going to be putting new emitters by the plants so that they get good water distribution. Let's go. All right, just to give you a basic outline of what I'm doing, I have this little device here. Um, I'm poking holes in the side of the drip line. So this little thing pokes little holes there, and then I'm placing an emitter on the side. So this releases about two gallons of water per hour. So it essentially just slowly drips out the water so it gets a nice even spread on the root base. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. All right, here's an example of a very well-placed emitter. So we have the line right here. You can see the emitter is right here. That's where the water comes out on this side and it's perfectly lined up with the plant there so it gets a nice even spread of water but not all of them are like that here's an example of a poorly placed emitter so we have the emitters right here the water's coming out and the plants way over there so i'm going to be popping new emitters right here and on the other side right there okay here we go just poke a hole right there get this red side put it in I use two fingers like that. And then I just pull out slowly to make sure it's, it's fully nested in there. And there we go. So now water's gonna be hitting it right there. Irrigation is basically the practice of delivering additional water beyond what is available from rainfall to the soil to encourage healthy growth and better crop yields from plants. Irrigation may be one of the most important environmental modifications that mankind has ever learned to perform. From its first use, it has had significant local impacts and large historical impacts as well. In the Encyclopedia of Soil Science, published by Marcel Decker, he states, quote, In the Bible's book of Genesis, we are told that God's creation of humans was accompanied shortly thereafter by his assigning to Adam of the stewardship of the irrigated orchard that was paradise, unquote. Although this could be interpreted in many different ways, I found the use of that word interesting. The earliest archaeological evidence of irrigation in farming dates to about 600 BC, in the Middle East's Jordan Valley. Similar to the aqueducts that were first used in ancient Persia, India, and Egypt, these primitive systems utilized tunnels carved into the hillside that used gravity to carry water to the plains below. This system works pretty well. In fact, at the ranch, we use a very similar method, using a primarily gravity-fed system to drive the water through our drip lines with a few modern pumps along the way to help maintain water pressure. You know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Although sometimes these pumps break and it's, it's really annoying. They make this really loud like sound. It's pretty bad, but that's, I mean, it's not really relevant to what we're talking about. So anyway, back to history. In the following millennia, the Inca, Maya, and Aztec made wide use of irrigation. Some of this technology still works, which is really impressive to me because I feel like my phone breaks every five seconds or so. So it's just impressive that someone built something back then that is still working today. I mean, look at the craftsmanship. Look at the way that they lay the stones. It's so beautiful. This technology migrated as far north as the current southwestern United States, where the native people of that region built over 700 miles of irrigation canals to feed their emerging civilization only to abandon it in the 14th century. Moving forward to more recent times, many of the practical principles of irrigation system design and irrigated soil management can be traced back to the lessons learned from the settling of the American West. What this means essentially is that there was a process of trial and error. Irrigation techniques vary based off of the crop and the region of the world. We use a primarily underground drip system to water our blueberry plants because we really don't get a lot of annual rainfall in Southern California. So we wanna make sure that we use every drop. We have over eight miles of drip lines that water our blueberry plants, raspberries, and blackberries. So there it is, guys. That's the history of irrigation. Learning about all these different people from around the world coming up with new ways to move water to where they are is very inspiring to me. 
The amount of effort and resources that people have poured into irrigation technology throughout history really highlights the importance of water. In today's world, it's so easy to take what we have for granted, but working on a farm really opens your eyes to the fact that everything is finite. Everything has a cycle. So it's a good idea to be stewards of the limited resources that surround us.